hi everyone quick video let me do this video for you when i did a video yesterday i saw comments and i've been seeing this comment for a long long time people wondering if i didn't do nursing janet can i come to the united states and get a job or get a green card that's a very very important question so hopefully you find this video i'll try and find as many as you as many of you as possible but this is important because not everyone likes nursing I told you, Janet presents the, the, the story of everyone. Huh? When say, I don't like nursing. He said, okay, I'm here. You don't like nursing. Can you work in America? Can you get a green card? Or even if you're here, you know the truth. Or some people have not told you the truth. First of all, before I even continue, I'll be honest with you. There's a reason why I started doing Canada videos. The reason why I started doing Canada, honestly, if you're one of those people listening to me, and you're struggling with the, de the decision between America and Canada, I'll be honest with you, in terms of permanent residency, you're better off in Canada. I'm just, I'm one of those people who will always tell you the truth. Okay? I love being here in America. But I'm telling you, the process of getting a green card, the process of getting these work permits is so difficult. That's why you hear many people working under the table. And I know some of you think, oh, so let me start with that. If you're one of those people struggling to make a decision, even if you're here in America and you're legal and you are wondering, honestly, I will consider Canada seriously because they have a pathway. They have a clear pathway to permanent residency. Once you're in that country, it's clear. It's easy, to, it's easy for you to set goals in Canada. Okay. Okay, so I just have to put that out there. If you're one of those people struggling, let me come back to America. Yes, it's possible. Many people work here. Me, I don't know their papers, but it's not easy. Okay, that's why Janet always says, come as a student. And even as a student, honestly, it's a struggle. You have to pay fees, okay? But at least you can plan using the student visa, hang around as you plan the next move. Okay, and if you haven't watched my video on how people get green cards, please, please consider. Because I did a full video on how people get green cards. Okay, I did a full video on how people get green cards. So you can consider getting a green card by watching my videos. But all I can tell you, honestly, the pathway, and you know Janet talks about experience. I can only tell you the things that I've done. I happen to be in the medical field. I happen to deal with people in the medical field. That's why I'm not biased. But that's mostly that's what I know, okay? Myself, I can explain what I went through. And I can explain what has happened to my several family members and, they all, and my friends. And they all, they all happen to be in the medical field. And even with that, it was so hard, okay? It was so difficult for them even getting a school. I'll be honest. Just getting that admission in the university, especially if you are foreign trained, Yes, and I know I have some medical doctors that follow me and they ask me these questions. If you can squeeze yourself in and get a residency, which is not easy, you're competing with the whole world. We have doctors from China. We have many doctors from India, the Philippines, you know, from Russia. We have doctors from all over the world, all of them competing for the same spot. Okay. And so for you to come here, you might get discouraged. I'm just being honest, especially if you're doing very well at home and you come here and then putting in those years and getting a school is not a guarantee, okay? I know many people that have stayed here and they had to change to nursing. Now that is a, a painful pill to swallow. So it comes down to who are you. It comes down to who are you and what do you like. Okay? How much are you earning at home? How much do you love your job? How old are you? These decisions, honestly, I, let me give you an example. I have a friend, not a friend. You know, Janet says no friends. But I have people that call me. So this guy calls me, okay? He has a bachelor's degree in nursing, but he went and did a master's. I'm not naming names in informatics, okay? Now, he's been doing that, doing that. And then now he says, Janet, you did psychiatry. Janet, you did family. And I've had nurses and uh, people like you are doing very well. I have a friend who is collecting almost $4 million in New Mexico. And so, Janet, I'm thinking to go to school like you and, and get this degree. I say, yeah, I don't think they are lying because if I go there, I don't need any supervision. I can probably start my own clinic and bring in that money if I have the business mindset and hire 
people to help me in the clinic and all those and deal with the paperwork. But that's not, that's besides the point. So we ended up here. I asked this guy, honestly, how long have you been here in America? This, this, this much. Okay. How much will you put in student loans to get what Janet has? Because remember, you have to put in like almost two, three years again. That is just the education to catch up with me. Okay. Now that is student loans and your age. You want to go back and start paying student loans. Okay. Now let's say that's not the hurdle for you to go and start practicing. You really have to be in the field like at least five years to be confident to start practicing on your own. Me, when I finished my postgraduate and my master's program, I cannot tell you that I was ready to practice. Working as a nurse is very different than you working as a nurse practitioner. You really have to change the mindset because now you're thinking like a doctor. You're the final person. You're the one prescribing. You're the one making final decisions. You're the one deciding on labs, you know, uh, x-rays, MRIs, all those things. So you have to change that mindset. So that means you really have to be in the field working for almost five years. And I told him, for me, it's easy for me to say, you know what, I can move to New Mexico and start a clinic because I've already put in my almost, you know, I've been working in this field like, okay, for this, for this experience, I have more than seven years now. Now, if you add plus school and everything, we are talking about 10 years. I said, okay, now how old are you? For you to reach my level, we are talking of five, seven years. And then we are talking about you putting in student loans. Okay. And then he told me, Janet, I do a side business where I, I, I flip homes and it makes money and I rent all my homes are cash. I said, okay, why don't you focus on that more? I'm not going to make for you a decision, but you, you look at yourself. Okay. You already have, well, you didn't choose the right masters when you started. Some of you just choose and you don't think you finish your bachelor's degree in nursing. And then you say, oh, management, informatics, all those things. And then later on, you, you say, oh, my goodness, I wish I did nurse practitioner. I wish I did, you know, a, a PhD in this and that. We all make those mistakes. But later on, you realize, oh, so he's ahead of most people. But look at my, my how I slice information. And this is a person that is already here. So I'm using this as an example. Like, you really have to know who you are. The younger you are, the better. Janet is the, the, the person that believes in age, you know what I mean? But usually when you're still in your 20s, the sky is the limit. 30s, you still have a chance, okay? But it's getting harder in terms of paying loans, okay? And so let me come to the question, honestly. Let me just go straight to the question. So I'm not a nurse. How do I get a green card, okay? How do I work in the United States? Let me tell you, most people, okay, that, loves what they, that love what they do, okay they just have to put in education and with education i mean you're, you're planning on a master's or you're planning on a phd okay if you are not a nurse think like that and i, I will get in other ways of getting green cards but let's start with education if you're wanting to do everything on your own and you love accounting i have a, a, a one of my followers who is a chemical engineer not chemical engineer. Yeah, yeah, he's a chemical engineer. So when he first came, he went to China and then finished. And then now he came here. He did his bachelor's in chemical engineering in China. And then he was so excited to get a master's program in the United States. So he's doing master's. No, he's done with master's in chemical engineering. And that time it was hot, hot cakes because of oil. But look now, the world is going green. So the oil industry is no longer a boom. Now, he can't even get those employers that were giving H-1Bs, okay? Now, you have to be thinking like, this is one of those places where you have market demand. Demand and supply, demand and supply, okay? So now, he tried, but he couldn't get an employer. But good thing he had what? A master's. So they put him in what? H-1B pool. Because he has the American master's, he qualified for H-1B, which was good for three years, and they can extend it for six and he's a young man, almost 30, but he's still in his 20s. And he doesn't want to marry for papers. He really have to, to, to be legit. He really wants to marry for, the, for real. So he wants to get a green card his own ways without depending on anyone. Now, he found a university. Universities have unlimited number of H-1Bs and they have unlimited number of green cards. Okay, so now we are talking about you going to work for a professor. You see what I mean? So uh, um, uh, stay with me. When, when you ask me these questions, I will give you detailed answers. If you're thinking of a green card, 
okay? And you are not willing to stay in the medical field. And you, you want to get a green card through employment. Think of masters, think of PhD, and more than likely non-government organizations or universities and colleges are the ones that will rescue you and give you working papers. Okay? Community colleges are here, they can employ, but mostly universities, they will employ you. Now, there are two different kinds of H-1Bs, but that's too detailed for this video. Okay? One kind of H-1B is more flexible than the other. But having said that, they are both H-1Bs and they'll make you, they'll give you a way of working. And then if you stay with the university, hopefully they will give you papers to work eventually. But the, the most important thing is to look at your age. To look at your earning potential. If you're already here, then, you know, I'm sure you know what I'm saying. But if you're still out there, those are the things you need to look at. If you are outside the medical profession, think of a master's, think of a PhD. And that is in terms of education and you don't want any strings attached to anyone when you come here. You want to make your way yourself. Do your research, go for higher education, you'll end up with H1B. Okay? And even H1B is a lottery, so it's not even guaranteed. So there will be a lot of stress. There will be a lot of stress. And that's why you see Janet saying, I prefer Canada. That's why Janet started saying Canada videos. She's giving you the reality. So if you see people are struggling in America, probably they wanted to stay with jobs, but they have to work under the table. Okay? To survive. They are under the shadows. They are among the 11 million people that they say, which in my opinion is about 30 million, who do not have papers. Okay? They know about it, but they can't do anything about it for some reason. Tango, <laughs> I almost spoke in Swahili, but that's okay. I realize some of you, you don't hear Swahili, so let me stick with English, okay? Anyways, now, this is not to discourage you, but that's the reality. Look at your age, look at how much you earn, and keep in mind that student loans are not a joke, okay? Now you're just adding bills, 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 and you are not sure. You have to, to be sure you'll graduate, okay? Now, if you think education is not... The, 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 the pathway, now that Janet has explained in America, Canada is an option, but if you decide to stay, now that's when I used to say some people get through military. Okay, people who live in these military cities, if you come to America, you need to know which are in military cities. Many, many people in those areas used to get green cards by joining the military. These days, you really have to be a permanent resident or a green card, I mean, a um, citizen. But that can change, okay? Things are changing, so keep an eye on that. That was a good avenue, Okay. People consider marriages. Marriage used to be easier during our days. These days they have a two-year condition. If someone marries you on a green card, they give you a green card for two years. And by the way, there's a long line. So even before you get that green card, you're thinking of a year or two. Okay? By the time you agree with that person, and knowing what I know. Okay? This is just knowing what I know. Marriage is not easy by any means. I've seen in America marriages lasting six months. So are you going to be depending on someone whom you can't even trust? Because, my friend, if you do anything wrong with these people, they can just divorce you or throw you out. End of that green card. Okay? But if you are a strong believer and you are willing to stay around, okay, and do um, mediocre jobs, by the way, when you first come, let me, oh my God, forgive me. Not me, you know, like you get my point. If you, 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 you are a doctor at home, don't expect to come here and start working as a doctor. You really have to start, you know, regular jobs. Pushing carts at Walmart, working at group homes, cleaning patients, taking them for appointments, you know, uh, working at a grocery store, which for me, I love these jobs. Not everyone can do, but Janet can. To get you started as you, you plan, okay? Now, this is another tricky place for people in the medical field, okay? This is tricky, but your chances are higher. I used to work in California with people from... Um, they did pharmacy, and those days they had a shortage of pharmacists. So they sponsored them. I have a friend who was sponsored by Walmart. Most people, you know, Walmart is the biggest retailer in America. They usually have pharmacy. So she was sponsored with H1B and eventually green card. But these days, many kids have gone and done pharmacy. But now with Corona, we'll see what the market for pharmacy is. But that's where many foreigners ran to. Many, many people ran into pharmacy, and it's a good thing. And you find a sponsor, and they give it to you. But these days, I don't know that there are any people sponsoring pharmacies, okay? Of course, if you want a green card through lottery, then you, the, the sky is the limit. But you can't even count on those either because now there are many kids graduating in pharmacy. 
okay medicine i'll be honest with you medicine <laughs> getting a residency spot in america I, I i work with medical students they they used to come in my clinic for training and during they have something called uh, selective i forget the name after they finish fourth year they've chosen which which uh, career to 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 specialize whether whether it's psychiatry whether it's neurology cardiology emergency room physician or obgyn or family or pediatrics there's a day yeah they call it matching day okay so where you match so you choose about four five or ten programs because it's very competitive so you have to apply to many universities and hospitals <laughs> on that day there are those who miss the chance these days now with corona i think the government might uh, give them more money so most uh, hospitals will start giving residency programs but i'm telling you, even the ones who train in america these days i've seen them those students they panic when times for matching comes they are not sure if they will match a program they are not even sure if they will get into a residency program so for you you can imagine who is a foreign doctor come and do those exams part one part two english okay come on j1 I mean, you, you, are you getting my point? Is it possible? Yes. But you have to be ready for a very, very long road. You have to be ready to adjust very quick if things don't work out for you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth, but it's possible. Now, I know many people that come here in medicine and they choose these community hospitals or you go to a, a place where many Americans don't like to go like rural hospitals you know all those things you can probably get residency okay it's not impossible but it's very competitive because especially many immigrants from china from india they all want to come and do medicine from eastern europe even canada all the mexico the whole world is here trying to get into those programs so it's very competitive is it impossible no it's not impossible okay so if you're thinking of any medical program medicine especially residency is a mountain to climb okay but you can you can get in uh, those people some people used to join psychiatry because it was less competitive now many people like psychiatry is one of the uh, medical courses that are paying very well they pay more than even emergency room doctors these days i think they even pay better than family you know psychiatry is up there so these days many kids are also going into psychiatry but those days doctors would come if they don't get residency they go into psychiatry most foreign doctors are internal medicine internal medicine that one where they go in the ward every morning prescribe they are in icu okay because most american doctors want to be dermatology you know they want ophthalmology where they do a procedure for 30 minutes they get their three thousand dollars or nine nine thousand they're into surgery orthopedics emergency room obgyn for women for women and fix me if i'm wrong but OBGYN, I think you have to you have to train in the United States. That's one they don't take any foreign doctor. I might be wrong, but the last information I have that was the case. I'm going through this because this is a question I've been avoiding for a long time. I've been avoiding because I'm a very positive person, and I don't like breaking, breaking, breaking. Um, and I've done these videos before. Okay, most of the time I've told you how to do medicine when you're here in the United States, and Janet tries to do medical because that's what I know. Honestly, if I, I was trained in another thing, I'd probably be... People talk from experience. I talk about medical because that is my comfort level. That is my experience. I've lived with these people. I know what they go through. Okay? So keep that in mind. But always nothing is impossible. Okay? I've brought two family members in the United States through dentistry. Again, it was a mountain to get those schools. It was a lot of tears. Okay? And discouragement. But eventually they got admission. But it took a lot of patience. Patience, patience. Regrets. Applying to many schools. Regrets, regrets, regrets. But when the, 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 the chances opened up, it was very good. Okay? But I'm just telling you the truth. I've told you about pharmacists. I know pharmacists. Okay? I've explained what happens with the pharmacists. These days, I don't know if they take foreign pharmacists. You do your investigation. You can always go to the board of pharmacy the United States and Google foreign uh, pharmacists you can go to the board of medicine and google uh, foreign medical doctors and confirm what janet is telling you you can go to the board of dentistry and google foreign dentists and the, all the information will be there it's a mountain 
And when it comes to medical courses, my friend, I'm not lying to you. Be prepared to pay $300,000 before you graduate. Okay, I, I, did make, I did not exaggerate. $250 bare minimum, $300 to finish that program. $300,000 for you to finish that program. That's why I told you, if you're young, either age is on your side or ambition is on your side. You cannot miss those two. You cannot miss those two. This is not for the faint-hearted. This is not for the end. You know, when I was doing these videos, Jane, Jane, I always tell you, me, I'll come and tell you that things are not rosy, but I'll tell you the truth, at least what I know. Okay? I've covered for you medical courses. I always say, if you are not a nurse, and I, I, I never cover these other people because uh, we know nursing. Janet has <laughs> always said, go to a community college, take the three years, because nursing, they don't care in terms of, you really have to, so long as you've done diploma, which here they call associate's degree, okay, then you can get a green card. They don't take those two-year nursing degrees or all, no. You cannot come here and do something they call LVN, licensed practical nurse or uh, uh, licensed vocational nurse and think you'll get a green card. You will not. That is two years. It's too shallow. They don't, okay? They need you to be an RN. In America, for you to be an RN, you're either associate's diploma or your bachelor's degree. Okay, the license is the same. Even home, the license is the same. Whether you went to university or you went to, to MTC or you went to a diploma, the, the license the employer is looking for is called RN. So for you to get a green card, my friends, and I've had people in America calling me with this question. Let me make it clear. You are not getting a green card if you're LVN or LPN. You are not. Now say don't even think. Now say you are not even a nurse. Okay, you are not said. So you really have to go and get diploma. And the good thing with diploma or associates is only three years. So when you see Janet telling you, run to that nurse and get a green card and put yourself together. That is when age comes in. And Janet believes age should never be a problem. I believe that nothing should be impossible. Janet believes that everything is possible. But you really have to face reality. Some people will not tell you the truth, but this is the truth. I've lived it. I had a friend of, not a friend, I used to work with a medical doctor, he was, he, he was American, he's American actually. But because the sports were so competitive or wherever, I don't know, he went and trained in Italy. So he had a foreign degree from Italy, and by the way it's normal, here most doctors, if they don't, they don't get into American universities for medicine, they go to the Caribbean. Okay, they go to Caribbean schools, it's common, they train outside the United States, some of those Caribbean schools are very good um, universities. So they go and train them and they come here as foreign doctors. So this was an American and he came and I'm telling you, he stayed out there for so long. So I don't know if it was his grades, me, I don't know. But he told me his friend gave up and entered psychiatry. <sighs> Sorry, I had to turn my neck. So anyway, so he waited so long and he ended up doing internal medicine. But his friend waited so long until he decided to enter psychiatry. So medicine is always a tricky field. It's always good if you are training here, but it's not impossible. We have so many. In fact, most doctors are foreign. Okay. But what I'm telling you, things were much easier those days. Now, I think they are competitive, but most doctors are foreign doctors. And they do internal medicine. They do family medicine and they do psychiatry. Most people who train here end up in dermatology, surgery, emergency room, OBGYN, you know, like where the big bucks you know, they want to stay in big cities and do surgeries. Anyway, you get the, the, the point. Today, I covered a lot of medical. Which other medical courses? Okay, I have people that do lab, lab technician. We have radiologists. Okay, be careful. When you say radiologist, that's a medical doctor, okay? Radiology technicians. Physical therapy is a good one. That one I've always told you. If you have a master's in physical therapy and you don't like nursing, that is another one. Do research on physical therapy. If you're one of those people who doesn't like nursing, consider physical therapy. Make sure you get a master's, okay? You can use that. If things don't change, you can get a green card. Physical therapy, yes. They'll give you a green card. Or those H1Bs. If you don't like nursing. Now, Janet has told you the truth. All this nutrition and everything else. By the way, if you go to those websites, if you are a nutritionist, you go to the, the, the website for nutritional, your nutritionist board, like all this information is there, and go there and Google foreign nu nutritionists. 
There'll be information about foreign trained people. And you see if it fits you. Okay? If you, you did actuary or how, what you call all those courses you did. In America, we have boards, boards. Every, every profession has a board. And that is the one that controls the standard of practice. And they always cover a section for foreign people. And therefore, you can learn on how to transition your profession. Janet cannot mention everything. But she can only tell you, nursing is straightforward. Medical profession, you'll get a green card. Dentist, you'll get a green card through H1B and then eventually green card. But getting a school is a hassle. Medicine, you will end up with a J1 as a foreign doctor, H1B, a green card, but getting a school will be a hassle. Okay? Pharmacy, they used to give green cards through employers, but these days there are many pharmacies. Again, it can be a hassle. Is it possible? Yes. Okay? These other courses, you have to go to your specific boards. And by the way, it ends up with employers. If an employer, any employer is willing to give you a job, they can file for you these things. But it comes down to demand and supply. Do they actually need foreign people to put you in there? So that's how you're thinking. That is how you're thinking. Now, today I covered a lot of education and I think I've covered most of you. But don't get discouraged. You can win a lottery, which is every year in October. You can marry American. Be careful because there is conditional these days. If you come here and you keep fighting the American, they might as well throw you out. That's the end of your story. So you really have to know them very well, but you have to stay positive and think the marriage will work. But meanwhile, you'll have to start with the mediocre jobs. I don't know how. You might have to stay in the house for a while. Okay? And yeah, so most people end up with marriage. And many of them do not have papers. And so when you hear people saying they are struggling, this is what they mean. Okay? This is what they mean. Because... You come here and you wonder, how, how do I fit in? And that's why Janet always says, the first thing before you do anything has to be papers. How am I going to get those papers to stay permanently? Canada is an option. Especially if you haven't taken that plan. Canada, the way is straightforward. Like you know exactly if I do A, B, C, D, graduate from Canada school, this will happen for me. If I don't commit any crime, I just mind my business, go to school, Canada will be a good option for me. America is tricky, but the rewards are good. I, personally, I'll be honest with you, I'd rather not be anywhere else. Me, I love being here. I love being here, okay? I love being here. And I went, if you haven't watched my video for green cards, please go and watch because it will look like Janet has just closed all your doors. No, there are many ways of getting green cards. But it's better for you to know the truth. And I remember one day I told you, if I forget to do this video, remind me, and that's now I'm doing it. Because someone told me, Janet, should I go to school and do a master's and change professions? I say, how old are you? How much are you willing to put in student loans? And why are you going back to school? But for him, it was very clear. He said, Janet, I have a friend who is collecting four million in this profession per, 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 per year. Of course, they have to pay salaries. Of course, they have to pay for rent. Of course, but they can get a lot of money. Probably they can put in their pocket. Who knows? 800,000. Who knows? That's a lot of money. But I, 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 I said, you know what? Janet is not here to discourage you. You make the choice yourself. You look at your age now. You already have another business. You want to go put in a student loan. Okay, I wish you just run to school, get this thing in three years, and come out and pay those student loans. But my friend, for you to practice independently, you really have to have your experience. So I'm talking about at least three to five years deep down for you to understand the art and the science, and then even be good in business. Okay, otherwise everyone will start a clinic. There's a lot that has to do with patients here in the United States. There's so many regulations. There are so many, and this is not to discourage him. He said, Janet, you know you are telling me the truth. I say, yes. But you make the decision. I mean, if you're flipping homes and the homes are giving you money, why are you wanting to, if you, if you want to do this, this thing that I do, it has to be out of love or you enjoy it. But if it's because of money, who told you everything will go as planned? Okay, now if you're in your 20s, you can always gamble these things, you know. 
but the, the older you get like you kind you have to start solidifying your decisions but oh, uh, before i finish please go and watch that video of how pe people get green cards today i focus on education because you you've been asking me for a long long time and i've come here and so uh, i've discussed if you haven't watched these videos go down here I've taught some of your kids how to do medicine in the United States. I've taught them how to do all these courses in details. But today I focused on papers because people ask me, can I work? Short answer is yes. Will you work in your profession? No. Will you have papers? Probably not. I'm just telling you what happens on the streets. Me, I don't know. I don't have any evidence. Okay, me, I just hear, I read on, or I see on TV, I see on radio that there are 11 million undocumented immigrants. I don't know any of them, but they work. And so they want to bring them out of the shadows one day if things work the way they want them to do. And so it's up to you to make, uh, by the way, uh, it's very rare that what I'm saying is not accurate. I feel like what I'm telling you is very accurate. And the good news, there's something called Mr. Gugu. If you go, you will see exactly what Janet is saying. She did not lie a thing. And there's nothing as good as having the experience and gone through these things myself. Some of them I read, but some of them, they are theoretical, but some of them are very practical. I have brought people here. And they've done those big courses. So when you hear Janet saying, D -d 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 -d, it's not guesswork. I've seen the process. I have family members that are here in the same courses. So I'm telling you the truth. But if you're just looking for any job, it's possible. Under the table, under the shadows, it's possible. But if you are wanting to do things the right way, think of time and think of money. How willing and how much risk are you willing to put in? If, you, if it's not through marriage, you're going to put in education. And you're putting in a lot of years. And you're putting in a lot of stress. And you're putting in a lot of... Did I say student loans? Yes, loans, stress, and time. That will make you succeed. Honestly, if you can jump that, I don't know how. If you come here as a student, you'll be toiling for five, six years. And if you don't choose your career well, you are not even sure if you'll get those papers. And that's why most people revert to other ways of getting green cards, which I've done videos about. Marriage is usually the easiest. A fiancé visa and all those, but the process, waiting period is there, can't work, and you hope that the marriage works. I can, let me give you a quick story, and I will not mention names, but... I've met someone who was a guy, okay? He was telling me his experience. And maybe someone out there is listening to me, okay? I don't remember this guy's name. I don't even remember his face, to be quite honest. But I remember this story was true. Or maybe it was in my dreams. I'm not sure. But he told me he had a wife. He married an American. And he was from home. And I'm telling you, this woman just used to slap him or something i don't know but it was some form of abuse so now do i have to stay with abuse just because i need a green card you know like that's a very difficult uh, thing to do the answer is no so now the good news immigration no such things happen so it's possible the 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 the, 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 the moral of the story what i'm sharing with you is you told me Janet, in my dreams, I had a full sack of evidence of the texts, of the phone calls, of the abuse, of the police reports. It was a full sack. What am I trying to say? If you can prove that you're being abused, then you don't need the American citizen to approve your papers. You can always file yourself. Are you learning something? Oh, man, I better go. I'm folding my back. I'm just feeling tired. I think you get my point. Yes, yeah, so if if you come and then maybe the American citizen starts to abuse you or you start doing things you don't like, but you will really have to prove that that, that person, which many, many people are smart enough not to abuse you in any way, 
they will just walk away from you. But this one had to, to, to leave the wife because, and some people think only women are abused. No, men are abused too. Some men are abused. He happened to be one of them. And so he filed papers himself. But he told me he had a full sack of evidence. He had a full sack of evidence to show that he was married to an American citizen, but he was abused in the relationship. And so he had to end. You don't end the marriage. By the way, you don't end because you have to marry based on marriage, right? But he went and uh, separated wherever and filed himself, you know. Because once you divorce, my friend, now what do you have? You, you, what basis do you have? Go back home. Because you, you well, find a lawyer. Okay, Janet is Janet is not a lawyer. Find a lawyer. There are some things I always tell you for, for to file papers in America. <laughs> you can do these things yourself. Personally, I did myself most of it, but I, I had my things straight. I was filing taxes. I, I kept my job. I had done everything legal, so I didn't need a lawyer. But anytime you've done even a single mistake, you've worked without permission. You've stolen from the store. You've called people names and the police came. Okay? You've, uh, you've pinched children. Or something like You don't do these things alone. You need a lawyer. But the process is there. They never hide anything. If you go on the, on the website, they don't choose who is the lawyer and who is who. 